Hello, welcome back. If you saw the previous video, you would have seen how this uh, container was created. So now let us talk more about the container. So this command that we issued here, so we, so basically what this does it, is that uh, it, it runs a container out of the image that we had, which is uh, NGNX. So it runs the, con the container, then this D uh, is like a detach. That's what it basically means. So what it means is that the container would run in the background. Without this D, what happens is that when you create the container, it disappears. But this will keep the container running in the background. Then we are, with this flag here, we are giving it a name, my MGNX. That's what this, uh, uh, this means. Also, we have hyphen P here, which is port. So basically what this is do, we are mapping the port. This port number, port 80, is the port number that is, uh, that is the container port number. So the 8080 is the, content, is the port number of the host where the container is running. So what we are doing here is that we are mapping the container's uh, port number 80 to the host machine's port number 8080 so that when you want to access this, uh, this uh, what you launch on this container on your host, you can use this uh, port 8080, which belongs to the host, to connect to port 80, which belongs to the container. That's what this, um, this command does. Now we have our container, which is my NGNX. Let me clear the screen again. The next thing we are going to do is to, uh, to I'm going to show you the command that you could use to check uh, logs of your Docker machine. So the first one we are going to use is Docker logs, then the container name. If you remember, we named it my NGNX. With this command, you can view logs of the Docker container, you see? So in the in future lessons, we are going to study more about the contents we are looking at here. So here you can see these logs. Let's try something, just uh, observe how short this, these uh, logs are, right? Uh, let, just observe how short it, uh, the, the logs are. So let's try something. Let us stop the Docker my nginx we stop the docker let's start it again the docker has been restarted now let's check our logs again so when you look at this log you are going to observe what just happened so as you can see that was uh, after we restarted we uh, uh, stopped the container and restarted the container, we issued this logs command again. If you remember, I asked you to look at how, le how uh, little the logs were. Now, after uh, stopping and uh, starting the, uh, the container again, look at all the logs. So from here, you can actually see what went, uh, what, what went, uh, went wrong or what happened with your container. As you can see, so it's shutting down here after we we issue the the stop command. It's exiting, it's uh, shutting down gracefully. You see, so after that, it restarted again. You see, so from this log, you can see some. You can basically see what happened with your container if uh, it's uh, if something is is not working the way they should.